Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, we'll explore the process of implementing a related post query based on specific terms or categories. And hide the section using bricks conditions if there are no related posts. We have a custom post type called courses and a custom taxonomy named courses category. We've added various courses and assigned them to different taxonomies. Next, we head over to Bricks and select a template to begin designing our single post template. In my case, I've already designed one, showcasing its simple layout using Bricks native elements. Feel free to design as you wish and see fit. Once you've completed designing your template, the next step is to loop the query for fetching related posts. Click on Query and set the type to Post. For the post type, we choose our custom post type. This will display all the posts related to our custom post type. However, we aim to refine the query to selectively display each post associated with a specific taxonomy or category. To achieve this, we'll need to include a taxonomy query. We set the taxonomy to our custom taxonomy which is the course category. And for the field name, we set it to name. For the term name, we utilize post term course category, which represents our custom post term name. To ensure that the related posts section doesn't display the current post, we need to activate the exclude current post function. That's it. But to ensure your template displays the single page for your custom post type, make sure your template setting condition is configured correctly. To ensure everything is functioning and working as expected, let's preview the front end. As you can see each post now displays related posts, restricted to the specified term name, with the previewing post being excluded. One challenge remains and that is, even if a post doesn't have a related post, the section still appears. We need to resolve this. To fix this issue we need to go back to the Bricks editor and use conditions. Before configuring our conditions, it's essential to obtain the element ID of the query element. Navigate to your query element and copy only the last six characters of the ID. Next, click on the section that we want to hide, click on Condition, and configure it with dynamic data. Set the dynamic data to return the count of query results, followed by a colon, and then paste the last six characters of the element ID we copied earlier. This is how your condition should be formatted. Now, let's head to the front end and preview our changes to ensure everything is functioning as anticipated this time. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. If you found this tutorial helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel.